This changes everything. Well, I kind of think it does in the mesh-tastic world, at least anyway, because for a long time now, we've been waiting for something that looks like a finished product that we can use with mesh-tastic. So this, guys, effectively is a really smart enclosure for a Heltec V3 device. I absolutely love it. It's got space in the back for an 18650 battery to power the device, and it's also got an SMA connector as well. So you can attach any antenna you want, super easy. But the thing I love most about this device is how simple it makes Meshtastic. You can basically just get this device, attach a decent antenna like the one shown here from Paradar, put this on an upstairs window ledge, and join the mesh. Okay, you've got to have some activity in your area for this to work, but it's happening out there, guys. It's getting really, really popular now. And having a good antenna like this will get you lots more contacts. And of course, if you're still struggling to reach distant stations with a small indoor antenna, you can easily attach an external antenna. So if you haven't worked out already, guys, this is a professionally 3D printed case. It's available from the website IKB3D, um, and I've got to know the owner of this pretty well. He's a, he's a funny guy. Um, so shout out to you, Chris. You've done an amazing job with this, and I really, really love the design of it. So we can see on the website it's available in lots of different colours. Obviously, the one I've got is like the kind of Stormtrooper one, um, the black and white. And this enclosure is available with or without an SMA connector. Basically, it's got a little 3D printed housing for the standard Heltec antenna. So you can kind of use that if you want to. I would just I totally advise just getting the SMA and using a better antenna because the ones that come with the Heltecs aren't actually that great. And as you can see here, testament to Chris's sense of humour, he's called this case the bender. <laughs> I did think that was funny when I first saw it. But it makes sense because it's got a kind of a bent kink. In the f I'm going to stop now. So Chris is making these all in-house and he sent me some footage to share with you guys of the manufacturing process. He's even invested in a couple more 3D printers to get this job done because we estimate um, there's going to be quite a few of these going out the door. But the quality of these things is, is amazing, guys. They actually feel solid in your hat. That's, that's super satisfying, by the way. Um, yeah, the quality is absolutely amazing. Um, and you can see him connecting up the power leads and obviously doing the um, the electronics side and the, and the power switch for the Heltex as well. Well, so yeah, absolutely great. So yeah, as I was saying, the, the quality of the prints are really good. So this is like the battery door. It's, it feels heavy. The first thing I noticed was it actually feels like solid. Um, it's, it's really good. There's a lot of material in there. Of course, you can print your own if you're a print 3D printing expert. I do have a 3D printer myself, but most of the time I can't be bothered. But the 3D print file is available on the store as well. You have to buy the files. It's not a lot of money. It's put a lot of work into this. Um, so they're there if you wanted to go that route as well. So overall, guys, I think this is a really cool way of taking a basic Heltec V3 development board and turning it into a really usable mesh-tastic device. You know, you could put one of these anywhere. On the window ledge, you could put it on your car, parcel shelf or the dashboard. Um, you know, when you're out and about, if you go to a high location, you could stick one of them on the dashboard and then obviously that might pick up some nodes and relay to a home station. You know, there's so much, so many possibilities with this thing. You could give these to family members. Um, you know, the boards are cheap. They're like 20 quid. I've got a link in the description where you can get these from at the moment in the UK. Be really quick though, because they're selling super fast. And I think with Chinese New Year in the way, you know, it might be become a bit more difficult to get these going forward. But yeah, anyway, the link to these is below. Go check that out. Um, at the moment, these are not shipping as a complete unit. Um, we're sort of talking about that and trying to work out, you know, a way of, of kind of doing that. Um, it would be great to just have one of these where you can just turn it on and go. That will most likely be next so watch this space all the links um, for all this stuff are in the description go check that out also check out our discord as well um, there's loads of activity on there it's re really really cool to see i keep saying it um, and it's a great place to get help and support um, for meshtastic if you want to know more about meshtastic i've left links down below in the description as well because it's it's a deep topic and it's becoming a, a bit of an obsession for a lot of people at the moment. Anyway, that's the fan kicking in for my power supply for my nodes that I'm running here. Um, so on that note, I'll catch you next time.